Well, we'll try today's stream at 1080p then. There we go, now I have eyeballs. Wow, almost a 10 second delay between output and what I have on my desktop. It's not necessarily a good thing, but I don't have any mods right now, so it is what it is. See if I can finish my dinner before before it's time to start. didn't do anything. Alrighty. Yeah, that's good enough. I'll have to play with that tip bar, but it was hiding the other stuff, so that's good for now. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to tweet that I was live. Alrighty.
Really? Having all sorts of problems today. Did it go? Okay, it went it went the second time. Alrighty. And live. No, 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 not you. Thank you. Close all, and I need to go to Discord. Alrighty, that should do it. Alright. Got the chat back open. Alright, now let's get to business. Got business. Why it comes up at that weird angle, I don't know. There we go. Right, change that to pan, and we can zoom in just a little bit. Alrighty, now select selection priority body. Sketch, sketch a spline. Now watch. Yep, it did it again. Why? I don't know. I don't know. At least it's not going as far off into the wild blue yonder as yesterday. Oh, 
Alrighty. Now, let's zoom in just a little more. There we go. Shit, that, uh, that actually works pretty well. I kind of like that sweep. Sometimes the spline does weird, weird things. I don't have Inkbot up right, right now where I can see it, so I'm actually watching chat through my phone. So uh, just let me know if... If... Uh, if Rabid Squirrelbot is annoying or not. Or if he gets too annoying, I guess. Oh, Jesus. Alright, come on. Here we go. See, now that one came out just perfect. I think I'm gonna add a couple extra control points because if I don't, I'll be sorry later. That's nice. That is nice. It's pretty good. Right there. Oh goodness, there's a dog a couple of rooms down. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Almost scared me a little bit. Almost. Not, quite. not really though.
Yeah, that's pretty good. Sometimes, like right now, I feel like the spline tool is really super intuitive, and other times it's dumb as a box of rocks. Ugh. This is annoying. Okay. Got chat back. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. I'm having a hard time. Maybe if I... Oh, genius! Wish I'd have thought of that yesterday. Anyway, sometimes it's fairly intuitive, like right now it's doing exactly what I want to do, and then other times, like earlier, which we'll go back and fix later anyway. It's dumb as a box of rocks. Stupid. I'm just going to kind of mirror that on the way down as far as I can. Getting there, getting there, slowly but surely. Come on. The grid's under here and it keeps keeps snapping to the grid. That's just slightly annoying. I'm sure there's a way to turn that off too, but I have no idea what way that is, so hey. It is what it is. There. Okay, control points. If I do, yes, that's quite what 
works. That's good. And let's um, we just want a freeform selection. Thank you very much. Oh, and I need to turn off these bodies. Turn on all the sketches. Come on. Okay. Now, can I can I please can I please select a uh, selection? Oh. Sketch points, profiles, geometry. That. Okay. I forgot it. I have to turn that on every single time, which is annoying, but it is what it is. Right about there. Let's do this one. And this one. Yeah, that one's right off. That work. That's good enough. That's not a big enough divot. Let's start here. And yeah, so let's get that guy in line. Let's get this guy in line. Let's get this guy in line. Let's get this guy in line. Since I seem to be heading this way anyway, that's fine. That's not so fine. No, oh, let's click here first. You come here. There we go. And your turn. And your turn. Yeah, pan. Not draw. Sheesh. Alright, you come this way. Yes, right about like so. Oops. Let's Hmm. Kind of not exactly what I want there, is it? Wait, 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 
Squish it. Squish it. Ugh. It's not doing what I want. I hate you. Alright. So that's fine there. What I need to do is... Uh... Thank you. Insert a spline set point. That here. And then I need to move it. I gotta move it down here. Oh, too far, too far, too far, too far. That's pretty good. <sighs> Stop it. Just a little. Just a little more. Oh, 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 stop. Let's see what that looks like. Hey. Butthead. Stop it. And then it does this. here. Come on. Oh, now it's going to do that. Shush. Shush. Let me go. There we go.
Thank you. <sighs> All right. Almost got it. Come on. Are you going to update? Okay, thank you. We do have select, right? Okay. Alrighty. How about I save what we've got so far? Just because it's been a pain. And the tokus. Come on. Fusion, why do you gotta be so slow today? Almost there. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. There. Okay, so I want you, I want you to come over here. Today. Actually, uh, I can show you, give me just a second. It's just fusion is freezing up on me at the moment. It doesn't like what I'm doing, apparently. Uh, but adding line adding lines to the to a curve is not that hard. I'll show you in just a second. <sighs> Come on, fusion. Would you and I knew as soon as I did that. As soon as I did that. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Down here. Down here. It's being jumpy. I don't know why. Stop it! I had you right where I wanted you. Now, would you stick? 
Uh, why? Why? Why, Fusion? You know, maybe, maybe now's the time. It is saved. <laughs> it is saved. I'm going to exit and go back in, because right now it's driving me nuts. Okay, try this again. And if I knew why Fusion 360 did this, I certainly would try to fix it, but I'm definitely not a programmer, so that's not going to happen. About right about there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Blow it up just a little bit. Yep. Come on, pan. Sheesh. All right. Select to make sure I'm in. Select. I don't want the canvas on, right? Well, no, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, so it'd be this sketch, and I gotta edit the sketch. Okay, now that the sketch is up, and hopefully it's gonna behave. Come on, over here. Over here. Oh. All right. All right. I'll show you. Uh, see right there? Insert spline fit point. Didn't exactly add it where I was aiming, but whatever. And then you can edit it going back to your select tool and you can move it, which is what I'm gonna do because I'm tired of messing with the tangents. Too far. Still a little bit of a hiccup with it, but not, not nearly as bad. Stop, 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 stop. Let me get this straightened out and I'll show you one more time. 
<laughs> yeah, I know. I, I actually just found it by accident myself, but it was like, oh, I know that. Ah, stop, stop. See, it's it's over. Yeah, I'm I'm having issues tonight, but that's okay. We can make do. And since I'm in the mood of moving things, that that point right there is a little off. Uh, stop, stop, stop. That ain't too bad. All right, go back to my pen tool. Da, da, da. Oh. Okay, so I want to select. Oh, and do yourself a favor. Always make sure to go back to select. Don't just click it. Just trust me on that. I, I spent a good hour. What was it yesterday or the other day? Trying to figure that out. No, uh, see, it's not, and I don't know what's wrong, but because of the lag, now it's not wanting to just click it. Which means I need to just escape and add another point, because this is just, um, actually, I need down here for that to work. We gotta wait for it to regenerate. I think. There we go. Now we can select again. We can move it, which for whatever reason seems to be working today. Yesterday, I was moving the tangents just fine. No hiccups, no issues, no nothing. Today, today not so much. And by the time I'm finished with this thing, I am going to be a legitimate expert in splines. Well, maybe not expert, but I'm going to be pretty darn good, because when it behaves the way it's supposed to, it's actually not that bad. Just for whatever reason, maybe because I'm streaming, I don't know, but... Um, yeah. Move your butt over right about too far yeah see this lag is killing me at least with the move controls I can I can kind of deal with it a little bit stop <clears throat> Ugh, the lag yeah, it's got to be Due to something with the stream, I must not have enough uh, bandwidth or something. I am streaming from a hotel, so, you know. It is what it is. Can I please select that other, other point? Maybe I can... Oh, that's still off. I don't know what you're doing here. And I see that crazy thing that the spline's doing. 
And I'm going to take care of that in a second. Uh, we have trim tools. Trim tools. Okay. Dad, you go away. Nope. Not what I wanted. Undo. Usually when it crosses itself like that, it'll just take that chunk, but again, it's not, uh, not playing by the rules today. Alright, let's... I want to zoom out and see... Uh, what? what the hell? Oh, okay. Let's just delete you. Delete you. Okay. Let's delete you. <laughs> I wasn't even over there. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't even know how that goes. <laughs> Up there, infusion is being a pain in the butt, and you know it actually did pretty okay yesterday. So I don't know. I I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll deal with it. We will deal with it. All right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick myself in the butt here, but I really want to just move it by the tangent. And then it sticks, and then now I'm going to be sorry. Oop. Hey, I have an idea. Nope, 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 nope. You come back over here. Actually, we'll just escape. We will pan. Come on, pan. We just got to grab this from the right side. Come on. I want you to click there. Okay, maybe not that high. Maybe like right. Whoop. Too much. Right. Stop. Stop. Can I let go of you now? Obviously not. Nope, it's not going to let me. Uh, Alright, we'll just add some control points and just just do it that way. I, I hate doing it this way. It's actually slower. Uh, insert spline fix point. I wish my spline would come back. Up there. And how about... Come on. Up there. Let's go to select. And let's move. At least this is working okay. That's fine. Uh, Stop. I almost feel like I'm training a dog right now. I almost want to say, stop, good boy. Stay. 
Oh, and, and let me know if uh, the the bot's too annoying. When I uh, when I get into this, sometimes I'm distracted for hopefully obvious reasons. Oh, okay, good. Oh, how's audio, by the way? I'm not used to having an audience. Ugh. Stop. Right there. Yes! Haha. <laughs> Alright. See, now normally what I would do is I would go back to the select tool, and I would select that, and I would make the tangent line up, but that that ain't gonna work. So we'll just continue on with the uh, fixed point. All right, now let's go to select, we'll select it, we will move it. Right there. Now we'll move this one. Oop, too far, too far. Lag, lag, lag. Come on. Ah, I'm happy. I am happy. And actually that, ugh. Stop. Pan. 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 Thank you. Oh, I better hit the... Okay. That's why it was doing strange things. All right. So, there's one out of two. <laughs> this could be an interesting night. Because I've got a... This is a long-term project, because this is going to take me a while. Oh, I need my pan tool. Pan. All right. Now, just, just click. You don't have to touch anything. You just click it, and you won't lose your, your tool. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, stop it. I'm gonna need to make it bigger. Bigger, 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 bigger. Alright. Would you. Oh, I hate when it does this. It's trying to snap to the grid. That's good enough. I'm happy with that. Alright, now you can go smaller again so I can pan. I'm not gonna take all day. Not bad. Oh, that looks nice. That looks nice. Of course, the final judgment will be when we extrude this sucker, but uh, I'm, I'm liking what I got so far.
people and just so you know how uh, how uh, backwards <laughs> I'm monitoring chat this is my chat because <laughs> I've only got one screen right now I'm in my hotel I'm doing this straight off my laptop See, and this is the part where it's going to be like super intuitive and it's just going to work great. I just wish wish it would like behave all the way around, but I guess you can't have everything. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I mean, it's it's an obvious solution. It's just not the greatest solution. I wish I wish I had extra monitors, but when I'm on the road, it's just not feasible. What's really cool when I'm home, I have a 60-inch uh, Vizio, and um, I this uh, laptop can actually cast. I've got a Roku, so I can cast to the Roku and use it like an extra screen so I can sit down at, at our couch and I can plunk chat up on that 60 inch TV and it blows up where you can see it from like 50 feet. So when I'm home I don't have this problem. I can just glance up right above my monitor and I have chat. But on the road I got nothing. Nothing but my cell phone, which it, it works. It's functional. It's just just wish it uh, worked a little. Oh, that's a weird thingy that it's doing. Unfortunately for everyone out there in Twitch land, this is tedious and boring, but if you stick with me, we'll get to extrude here in a minute. That's at least a little more exciting, and I'll show you what it looks like, too. It's just one of those things. I have got to finish what I'm doing one thing at a time. You see, before I got here, I was able to control it just fine, and I got these all lined up, and Fusion 360 automatically put the parallel constraints in there. over here just to fuzz there we go now you need to pan you got a pretty straight line going there so I'm gonna just trust it what are you doing 
obviously I've got a point out there somewhere in hinterland. All right, go back to select. Go to tram, find out what the heck ended up out in bloody cyberspace somewhere. Well, nothing, I guess. But why? Okay, so we just need to... See, it's wanting to select the whole spline, and that's not what I want. Poop. See, it should. Well, let's go back to spline. Or select. Let's select this. That's fine. What I might do is select that point right there. Can I just like delete you? Yes. Ah, it worked. Success. Okay, everything is still Selected. I'm going to bring my body back because I'm going to do the extrude off of the body. Make sure the filters. Okay, sketch profiles. Uh, start from, we'll select the body uh, from object. There we go. Then we're going to select, we're going to hide that for just a second. We're going to select this. Yes, we're going to select that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Select that. Turn the body back on. Select the object. And I work in inches, and there's a trick to that when you go to put it in like Kira, but I think in inches. I cannot think in metric. Uh, I'm a third generation son of a farmer. I worked with SAE all the time until I got into high school and they started talking about metric, and by then my brain was stuck. So. Um, there, there's a little trick to convert it back to millimeters so that when Kira takes it, uh, it doesn't blow up. But I work in inches, so that I, I know how much an inch is. I don't really know how much a centimeter is. <laughs> I understand inches. I'm going to change the priority to face. face. There we go. Oh, I don't want offset. Jeez, what am I doing? i got to come down here. That was a dumb one. No, I don't want to join. I actually do want a new body so I can play with it later. And that should be... Badoop. 
And guess what? We can we can do it again. I just want regular select, right? Yeah. I want to turn off the bodies so I can. Oh, got to turn the sketch back on. So I can select the inner part of the sketch. I want to create an extrude. Turn back on the body. Do it um, one sided. Do it. Do it from an object. Select the object. Distance is going to be oh wait I'll have to go back that's supposed to be a sixteenth and the other was supposed to be a thirty second that's okay we can go fix that new body does this first one we'll just edit it instead of a 16th that's supposed to be a 32nd there we go now we'll zoom back out and we got our K and I might as well while I'm while I'm here extrude this N select Create and extrude from here. Uh, I want to do it from an object. That object is going to be this. Uh, the distance is going to be a 32nd again. It's going to be a new body. Create an extrude. Uh, it's going to be from an object again. That object is going to be here. This is a sixteenth. Sixteenth. What I do? Undo whatever I just did. Undo that. Oh, okay. For whatever reason. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Create and extrude. Um, hey, you move out of the way. From here. It's going to be. F no. Select. It's going to be from here. Thank you. It's going to be from an object. That object is going to be this. It's going to be 1 16th of an inch. It's going to be a new body. So, as you can see, what I'm working on is putting Fun King's logo on this little doodad. Um, hang on, let me scroll out just a little bit. I'll take you on a tour around the world here. These, that is a channel. Um, I'm going, I, I, I hope this is going to work. But I've basically set these up to where they interlink together. But that's an edge, and that's going to go around. I'm building a uh, stained glass for for Glenn, and um, he said he wanted a 
a plain um, frame and this is going to be a 3d printed frame so I do I do mainly stained glass but I want to use 3d printing to make custom frames for them and uh, also fix stuff around the house but I haven't gotten to that level yet but so I have I have these runner pieces and these corner pieces but what I'm trying to do is get it extruded so that I'm gonna put two different uh, hang on I have to take this give me just one second. Sorry about that. I can't even get away from work when I'm off work. Come on, chat. Ugh. There we go. Chat is back. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, anyway, as I was explaining, uh, the way I designed it, these should fit together, and I do have some tolerance built in so that hopefully uh, when they're printed, they fit together and I don't have to do too much sanding. But I wanted to do a... A custom frame just to see a if I could do it and I'm gonna put that one on the glass and I'm going to um, send him the plane frame if he wants to switch it out to the plane frame he'll be more than welcome to do it but I think he's gonna like the embellished frame because I think it's gonna look really cool um, and that's part of the reason why I'm doing separate bodies is um, because that way uh, I can use multiple materials and make it multicolored and it'll look really nice it'll look really really nice I think So, anyway. Oops. Oops. Ah, ah. 
Sorry. Oh, come on. Yeah, stop it. The heat orbits pan. Thank you. And then let's go. To the, can I, like, switch you? Nope, nope, nope. There we go. One thing I'm not is a Rubik's Cube champ. But so that's that's what the splines are for. That's what we're working on today. No, actually it's a I make stained glass. It's a frame for my stained glass art. Um Shoot, I don't think I have any pictures on here, but let me see. If I do, I bring them up for you. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Wait, why am I going in there? Just go in here, silly. Uh, pictures. See if it's in here. Nope, not in there. Nope, not in here. Um, I wonder. Can I go into my Google? Oh, yeah, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> was right there when I opened it up all right all right we can, we can um, how do I almost Google Plus uh, yeah shush that's not what I need that's not what I need anything nope that's all right. Give me just a second. I've got a solution for this. Yeah, so the the frames are are for uh, the glass, the artwork. Because what I was thinking about is um, I can pull Ankbot up so I can so I can actually see chat for a minute while I try to try to get these pictures. I'm going to share it with myself. To myself. And then I'll pull it up so you guys can see it. This is swifty technology here, folks. Cutting edge. <laughs> right. Ah, don't fall. Don't fall. Stay. Stay. All right. All right. You can go away. I can go into here. Gmail. I should have probably done this a long time ago. Anyway, hey, there I am. All right, let's download that. Put it in pictures. Put it in the camera roll. Save. Ah, back. save all right so 
that is Glenn's, that's the pattern that I blew up for Glenn. And it, uh, well, you can see that's a whole sheet of paper. So the Fun King is nearly, probably, because because of the margins, probably 11 inches tall. And from that, there's a, a mark uh, just beyond the F and just beyond the D. From those two marks, it's two foot across. So that's Glenn's. And the other one I'm doing is this giant sloth. And across the horns, the widest point, it's 31 inches, but the whole frame is going to be 34 inches square. So the, this frame is going to be modular, and I'm going to um, print the little sections out, however many sections I need. And this is why I built it this way, because stained glass, you can build whatever size you want. So I, I have the base models there in Fusion 360. Uh, let's zoom back out. We have the base models here. These are just plain, uh, plain Jane frame pieces. So I can take those and from the base I can customize them like I'm trying to do with, with the Fun King pieces. Because since I'm 3D printing them, I can print them in whatever colors I want and I think it's going to look really good. Um, now one thing I'm going to have to do later, which I haven't done yet, is uh, probably, well, probably um, chamfer the edges, but uh, you know, right now I'm just worrying about getting these drawn out. Uh, that looks about right. Yeah, they're big. Uh, Glenn's, Glenn's, Glenn's isn't too bad. Two foot across is actually not that big because, I mean, it's a window we're talking about. So two foot across is not actually that big. So it's about two foot across. The Fun King's 11 inches. I think I measured it. It's like a total of 15 or 16 inches tall with, with, the, uh, with the font. It's going to look great when it's done, though. And Glenn was kind enough to agree that if he likes it, he's going to put it up behind him, and he's going to give me a little plug in his channel. Because I just want exposure. So, and, and it gives me a project. And I love doing my stained glass. <sighs> I should stop the sketch like a long time ago. Okay. But I'm so excited. And uh, basically the other one for Spooner Sloth, he's another streamer. And um, I really enjoy him as well. He's actually a funny, funny dude. If you ever get a chance, uh, he streams kind of at the same time as Warwitch, which is unfortunate. But he tends to stream after Warwitch is done as well. So, uh, but yeah, he's just a funny dude. But, um, so, the sloth is for that guy, and then, uh, Glenn, Fun King 3D, I'm doing the, uh, his logo for him. I 
I've already got the glass and everything too. I wish I could show you. If I weren't on the road, I would totally show you the glass right now. That just gets me excited. It's the one art form I'm actually good at, other than splines. <laughs> Right. Stop clicking to the grid. And I've found it really doesn't matter, at least for me. Um, whoa. Mm, I'm going to have to move that later. Turkey. It really doesn't matter which um, which I do first, whether I do the inner or the outer. It really doesn't make that much of a difference. The main thing was learning how to uh, do my controls. And just so you know, I do not have a mouse. I'm using my touchpad right now. But... Um, my new computer, this computer is still very new to me. It is an Alienware 17 and I love it. I love it. I'm glad I spent the money on it. It wasn't cheap, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's going to be one of those I think it's worth it. Snap to the bloody start making my Yosemite Sam noises because it's not behaving. Ah, say I go away. I'm getting all kinds of notifications. Stop. Mm. Now let's select and let's do the pan and see where we need to fix it, like um, right here, right there. Oh, see, now it's going to behave. Now it's going to behave. Well, that's okay. I like it when it behaves because this is way easier to do it. Ah, what are you doing?
sketch points, yeah, putts. Thank you. It is way easier to do this when the tangents work correctly. I'm going to move that one because it's not in line at all. I need you to be over here. That looks pretty good. Maybe, maybe just a fuzz like that. Okay. That looks better. And then I've got one over here that's a little bit off. Uh, move. That looks pretty good. Except for right here. Select. Yep. Is it this one? Yeah, that's part of the problem. And how about you, mister? Let's grab you again. That yeah, looks okay. It's a little off, but I can live with that. I can live with that. Ugh. I said pan, not select. I can live with that. Well, that was that was fairly easy. Can I do it again? Lord only knows. Create a sketch. Splines. All right, first I want to get it. It's easiest to start on a straightaway. But yeah, so the, sorry I'm not chatting as much, uh, the whole purpose of this channel is literally just to create a community where people can hang out, maybe you learn something, and I get to tinker around with stuff I'm interested in. Um, I'm very mechanically inclined also, so in the future, someday, I will probably... Uh, do some MacGyvery kind of stuff, or Jerry rigged if you were. But my my own solutions to things that I need, not not necessarily copying anybody, or you know, um, I do have a project in the works. In the future, uh, actually, you can see it over on the left side of my screen there. Um, it's a Tesla turbine. I'm going to get a big enough 3D printer. I'm going to 3D print that sucker. I've already designed it. Uh, you can 
like I said, you can see it in the left side of my my fusion screen there. I've got it open. select so I'm not Aha, uh -huh, there you are. That's pretty good for that. Let me pan up. Pan up and grab grab you. See if I can get you to behave just a little bit more. Um, right about no, nope, too much. Too much. Too much. Come on. There. Ho oh, ho. Didn't get a whole lot better than that. That looks good. That looks good. That looks good. That looks a little weird. Maybe we can. Make that behave some more. Yeah, that's fine. That's good enough. Yeah, pan. I need pan. And make one more real quick. Actually, I can probably probably get away with doing a circle there. Sketch a circumental. Uh, let's try a three-point circle. Sure. Oh, how's about that for shifty? Swifty, swifty. Oh, we can stop the ste sketch now. We can do an extrude. Um, make sure that my okay. Why, why are you being difficult? Why are you being difficult? Let's hide the bodies for just a minute. Um, why are you not, all right, you know what, let's, let's, let's cancel, let's select, select this, actually let's select this, 
Let's create an extrude from here. From an object, let's do from an object. Why, why are you not letting me select what I need to select here? Hmm. All right. Maybe maybe we're just in too close. Maybe that's what you're fussing about. Yes, there we go. Oh, go away. I just want to choose that. Can I not? <sighs> Fusion 360, you're killing me today. E. I'm 
just going to start turning things off until I can't. Thank you! No, I just want you. And I want you... from an object. I'm going to turn the bodies back on. From there, I'm going to extrude it 16th of an inch. Oh, no, no. That's going to be a 32nd. The inside is going to be a 16th. Alright, so now let's do E. Oh, I need the sketch back. Try that again. There we go. Uh, from the object, which is that, then we're going to extrude it a sixteenth. And oh no, that's not a join, that's a new body. Let's uh, make sure, let's edit. That was a new body. Okay, that's fine. And now, da 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 da! Fun King! Yay! We're almost there. I think I'm gonna go till 7 o'clock if you wanna stay with me. I'm almost done. I've only got two more letters, and then I can work on Fun King himself. The Fun King character. Yep, because I knew it was going to do that. Wish I could turn that off. A little bit more. Come on. A little bit more. There we go. I am not sure why my spline tool is wigging out on me at the moment, but it's working, so I'm going to say that's fine. Actually, maybe I should save. That would be a good idea. There we go. I got my crash layers back. I'm so used to working with them, I don't know what to do without them, actually.
awfully quiet out there in chat land. Did I lose everybody? Did I put you to sleep? <laughs> At least then I can say I was useful. There we go. Spline, the spline tool is, I think it's one of those things that gets more and more intuitive as you use it. Because this just seems to get easier and easier, except for when it misbehaves, which, hey, it's Fusion 360, it happens. I think I put everybody to sleep. Either that or they gave up on me. I know this isn't the most exciting thing in the world, but hey, at least I'm making progress. I think the project overall is really cool. And I might as well stream because if I get enough hours in... I might be able to make affiliate by by the end of the year. That's my goal. I might make it, there's a possibility I could make it before then, but I need more followers. That's going to be the thing that holds me back, is getting enough followers to make affiliate. Which I think that's just pretty cool. And I'm not in this to make money. I have a full-time job. Very annoying full-time job, which is why I need to do this so I can relax. And just to tell anybody still out there uh, kind of the story behind my name, um, I wanted something unique, obviously. It's kind of important on both Twitch and YouTube. But also, like, I'm totally not comparing myself to the greats of the Renaissance. But I think of myself as ha having kind of the mentality of a, quote, renaissance man. I'm into just a little bit of everything. My interests are rather varied and eclectic. Um, I'm very good mechanically. Unlike the great masters, I'm not very good artistically, except I'm good at stained glass. That is my one artistic talent. Now, let's see if these control points are going to behave. Come on. Come on. There. Select filters. Oh, of course, and it's got everything. I don't know why it does this. Profiles, points, curves, geometries, everything. I want all the things. I want all the things. See, that, that, that's right there, how that worked. That's how it's supposed to work every time. But when, When you guys first came in here, it was not working that way. Whoops, stop, stop. Right there. Pan. Let's do... Boop. Come on.
There we go. Pan. Let's do this guy. He's a little off. There we go. Let's do this guy. If we tuck him in just a little bit. That looks good. And right here. You come here. And then you come hither. Come on. You come. There we go. Hither. That's fine. That's fine. Just don't want anything that looks too goofy, kind of like that. That looks better. Alrighty. Oh, and in this one too, apparently. There we go. Alright, now that's it. Now let's do another spline. I got 30 more minutes, folks. Hey, Rumble! Thanks for the host! I didn't even see you over there. I'm doing the, uh, doing the chat box off my phone thing again. My french fries are cold. Oh well. I have Whataburger spicy ketchup. Mm. To make up for that. And it is so yummy. I don't even like ketchup, but Whataburger spicy ketchup? It's... It's different. It's almost like someone took ketchup and added some suriacha spices to it it's just so good so so good so if anybody out there uh off of Rumble's host has any questions, just just speak up. Right now I am in Fusion 360 doing some CAD designing. Right now I'm working with sp a spline. Not a spine, a spline.
sometimes working with the spline it it helps to put more points in especially when you're trying to get back to a straight line or a relatively straight line like it doesn't have to be perfect perfect some of these details are so small it's really not going to matter Because everything looks huge because I've got it blown up so I can work on it. Uh, yeah, well, I'll fix that later. Now that's going to be messed up. <sighs> Don't you just stop. There you go, Fusion. There you go. Some of these curves, man. That's okay. We'll fix them here in a minute. I'll show you guys how. Come on. That's kind of fortunate, it's right along, right along this path. See, so this is one of those moments where snapping to the grid actually helped me for a change. Oh, we're almost there, yay. Let's just boing. And go to select. Now let's go pan around and because I already see already see some issues. Up 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 Ah, sorry. Sometimes sometimes I feel like if you yell at it. Thank you. So that looks pretty good now. And we're just going to pan around and kind of fix it. Pan, 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 pan. Whoa, here, here's a boo-boo right there. Oh, Jesus. See, now it looks great. As long as I fix the... Let's bring you up just a fuzz. Ah. 
That looks better. See how I just kind of smoothed that out? Yeah, it's still got a little bump, but like I said, on some of these it does not matter as much. I'm I'm really trying to pay attention to chat, guys. I really, really am trying. It's 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 definitely a skill that takes practice. Stop. There. Right there. No. Uh, come on. I want you to go right there. Right there. Thank you. Oh, nope. I need pan. Pan, pan, pan. Not select. That looks... That looks pretty clean. That looks pretty clean. Pretty clean. Pretty clean. Man, pretty clean. Yeah, that looks that looks good enough. Oh, gotta fix that. All right, let's do it. Extrude. Um, we're gonna do it from an object. We're gonna select this. We're gonna go a distance of a sixteenth of an inch. We're gonna do new body. We're gonna go OK. Now we're going to select. Oops, I gotta turn my sketch back on. Gotta select this. Oops. Yeah, select that. With the E. We're gonna go from an object. We're gonna select the object. We're gonna go. Oh, that's going to be a sixteenth. That's going to be a new body. Cancel. Edit. Because that should have been a thirty second. body alrighty we are making progress I've only got one more letter on the word King so just so you guys can see this is in three-dimensional space got an image on there that I'm basically tracing using the spline tool in Fusion 360 and then we're extruding it and we're extruding it on top of this part this part once again is going to be a frame for my stained glass there's the little slot for the uh, glass to sit in and they fit together Uh, you can't see it from this side, but if we go to the other side, hmm.
something happened with that guy. Where are my sketches? Sketches. Ah. You should be an extrude. You should be a negative one eighth of an inch. And you're cut, you bloody butthead. There you go. Don't know why that disappeared, but we're back now. I swore it was in there earlier. Uh, so save. <laughs> Anyway, so as you might be able to see before I got distracted is they've all got T's and slots so that they can fit together. The plain one here in the middle is basically my master so that I can adjust it to whatever I need. I would be so stoked if I can finish this up right at the moment. Okay, so let's sketch a spline. Yep, let's stop the sketch. Let's turn that off. Let us sketch a spline. Ah, okay. I'm beginning to figure out the secrets of when it moves and stuff. Um, is that about right? Let me look at this center a little bit more. I think, I think that's normally about as big as I go. Let's just start on the outside, shall we? Really? Ah, uh, Fusion 360 error. Sorry about that. Just go point to point to point to point to point till I start to get a little bit of a curvature here. Start 
defining itself nicely. We'll be able to go on longer and longer runs, just as long as that arc remains constant. Here, here, pan. I need to move you. No. You need you need to go over here. Alrighty, let's pull it up just a little bit.
look for any weird, and I mean really weird, places in the spine. Actually, huh, did I get it right the first time, folks? Well, there, I did, I think. Somehow I lost my pan tool, but I did, I did, and I got it right. All right, now let's go with the inner spline. We are cooking with grease today. Let's just stick with nice, gentle swoops. With an occasional little spline. Dee 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 dee. Dee 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 dee. Panning around. Mm, yeah, let's do that. And kind of one of those. Let's do that and that. That's going to be funky. This is going to be one of those that requires a bit of tweaking. Almost. Nice long runs right here. I just want to move you. Move. Thank you. Uh, that's fine.
almost there, guys. So very, very close. Okay. Let's look at the geometry, see if there's anything that's really messed up. That's a little funky. Let's move you. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> Come on. Activate tangent handle. That looks pretty good. Pan, pan, pan. I want this, this, no, can I get, can I, can I, no, I guess I can't, never mind, uh, oh, I know what I can do, I can, uh, insert a fit point. And then I can move said fit point where I need it to be. There we go. All right. That's fine. That's a little odd. Let's see if I can fix it. Whoa! No, 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 no. Bad, bad. I just want you. <sighs> Stop it. Stop it. No. Bad. Uh, there's a constraint here on something and I want to delete the coincident right there right there that looks pretty good that uh, looks pretty good
stop the sketch. Okay, I want to select this. I want to extrude, and I'm going a little past here, but I just want to finish, 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 finish. Start from an object. Object being the body. I want to go one thirty second. I want to create a new body. I want to go OK. Now I want to turn my sketch back on because I want to choose this. And I want to extrude again. And I want it from an object. The object is going to be that. The distance is going to be 1 16th. And it's going to be a new body. And, ladies and gentlemen, we have our G. All right, I think I'm going to stop here. Uh, let me see who is on. Thanks again, Rumble, for the host. I'm just now seeing it's five viewers. Let me see who is on. Yeah. Well, Punished Props is on. That'd be a good host. Alrighty, thank you guys again. I'm gonna get out of here.